There's still a mirror to see what I look like. Okay. I'm glad it's not. Hi guys. Welcome to the Smiley Ever After YouTube channel. I'm Brian. I'm Michaela. And this is our channel. Basically, we wanted to make a ch uh, vlog channel sharing our life as two young married people living in New York City. Mm -hmm. And we just got married in May, May. What? <laughs> May 6th, I'm just kidding, 2017. No, he really forgot. I was trying to blink, I almost said your birthday. I did, I almost said your birthday, which is two days before. Mm. Because she mm. thought picking that date would get her twice the gifts for the rest of her life, which is not I, going to be I the case. I never said that. One big bundle of gifts. Mother's Day is going to be right all, on there too. No, <laughs> I I would like a gift for my birthday and one separate for my anniversary. <laughs> and when we do ever have a kid, Mother's Day will be separate gifts. No three for one in the month. Three of for one. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, gosh. Um, yeah, this is really just an introductory video. Um, we live in the Bronx, New York. Yes. I'm originally from Queens, New York. And you? I'm from the Bronx. No, I'm kidding. I'm from Syracuse, New York. Which is where we met in high school, but that's when not high school sweethearts. <laughs> so I posted on my Facebook page that, you know, we were going to be doing this uh, vlog and I asked just to see what you guys would want us to do. So one of the things, uh, one of the first things that we got was the husband and wife tag. So we're going to do a couple of different questions right now um, that we have. And we've never even gone through the list, so whatever is said We're is, definitely winging this. <laughs> is said, yeah. Okay, ready? All right. How and where did we meet? Uh, <laughs> so we met upstate New York. We both went to um, high school together at CNS. But we really didn't like know each other, know each other. Like I saw him in the hall and things like that. So I'd say the first time we actually really met as adults would be when I was in the mall. It was after we graduated. That would be really it, right? No, babe, that's not a meeting. Why? <laughs> you called me from the top of the elevator. Yeah, like you were so excited to see me because you hadn't seen because me. Because he was always in like sliding into my Facebook messages. We... Yeah, he would always be sending me his little music videos. I love my wife's time. <laughs> no, he did. I tagged 80 different people in that video as well. Oh, so I wasn't special. <laughs> Supposed to be how and where we met the first time. I don't know then. We met in high school. Fine. <laughs> Simple. What was your first impression of me? So, being that we knew each other in high school and obviously after, which led us to this point, the first, um, first impression was she's nice. She's quiet. <laughs> That's who you want to marry, cute. right? She's nice. And then um, after, so nice. <laughs> it's, 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 it's honest. And wow. it is nice. Wow. Um, but then once she moved down to the city and we both moved down here after we graduated high school um, and we started hanging out, I just genuinely was attracted to her as an, um, as an individual just because she's probably the sweetest, most caring, and thoughtful person I know. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how and where was our first date? So I'm gonna say that our first date wasn't even really a date. We were hanging out as friends and we were in Central Park and he was going through some hard times so I was there to kind of like be there for him and after, um, he's like, do you wanna go like walk around? And I was like, all right. So as we were walking, we were working on Madison Ave, and he starts talking to me about all these different designers. And I'm very there. into fashion. Yeah, he like really likes fashion. And so he grabbed my hand and he was like, let's go on a fake date. And that, I guess, would be our first date. It's so smooth. <laughs> hey, don't jack my steez, gentlemen. Don't jack my steez. 90% of the time, it works every time. What's that Ron Burgundy said? I don't know. 60% of the time, it works every time. I wouldn't try and do that though. <laughs> that was like a one, once in, I don't know, 
one kind of thing. Alright. Where was our first kiss and how was it? <laughs> Ooh. If I have this smoothest first kiss story of all time. So, um... <laughs> I was moving from Astoria to Weehawken, New Jersey to this new apartment with a crazy nice view of the city. And Michaela was helping me move. Yep. So this is gas station on Crescent and 23rd Street, I believe, in Queens, headed towards the Queen Royal Bridge. So I was filling up her gas tank because she helped me move. And I used to always do this thing, messing around, leaning, <laughs> leaning in like I was gonna kiss Michaela. But whatever, I was shooting my shot, you know. Yeah, I know how to work. But anyways, this one time in the gas station, as I'm about to pump the gas in the car, I lean in and she just kissed, just went out there and kissed me back. And I was not expecting that. Yep. But it was nice. That was, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Question, what is my favorite color? Um. I guess your favorite color would be red. I might say yes, but what's my real favorite color? Your real favorite color other than red? Oh uh, yeah. Um gold? <laughs> yeah. He wants you notice. I love gold. I want gold everything all over my house at all. Okay, times. anytime we see anything gold in the grocery store or something, like we want to catches my eye. Bed Bath and Beyond. Like anything gold. We have gold plates. Yes, we do. A lot of gold. He yep. loves gold. Gold measuring cups. He's so bougie, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like that's one thing you need to know about my husband is he's very bougie. Alright. If I could eat one thing every day, what would it be? Chocolate chip cookies, my lord. <laughs> Off the rip. Okay, I, Chocolate chip cookies. I like, could eat them every day. Really. Anytime that we say we're going to go on a diet, chocolate chip cookies will deter that diet every time. <laughs> what is one of my weird habits? One. You have a lot of weird habits. <laughs> um, being his wife, I see every sign of everything now. And there's a lot of like little weird things that he does. But one thing that he does is, it's like kind of funny and weird, but it would be that like, it doesn't matter what the song is, he just turns it into like some other weird song and like for example we love the walking dead and i get tortured and he's laughing because he knows this is so true i get tortured so bad like every <laughs> sunday night because he does this thing where he's like instead of it doing the whole theme song like this it's like he does go ahead do it <laughs> Oh, he won't do it's it. It's not now. appropriate for you to. <laughs> he does this whole. Basically, I, I get very theatric with it and, you know, touchy feely and messing around. Yeah, but it's not funny because I get tickled and I hate getting tickled. It gets me so mad. <laughs> like, one time I think he made me cry. <laughs> that wasn't that bad, dude. Yeah. No. That's one of the weird things he does. This cheese is weird. Alright. Mm -hmm. What is one unique talent I have? One unique talent that she has. She has quite a few. But if I'm gonna say off the handle, just because I've watched it blossom, modeling. It is Aww. not as easy as you would think it is. Finding the right angle to be looking at the camera to make yourself look a certain way. Just the whole night. I've tried it once or twice and I've had to do photo shoots on my own for other things and it is not easy. She definitely makes it look like a seamless process. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> Love you. Love you. All right. All right, these are gonna be our last questions. I think we've done quite a bit. Yeah. All right. What can I spend hours doing? A few things come to mind. But I'll say that definitely music. 
Like, when he's mixing his music and he has his headphones in, I will literally, like, hear him on repeat play, like, the same five-second clip. Or re-recording it. Or re-recording it and just saying, like, one word for, like, two hours straight. And that's how you really, you know, you do such great music. Thank you, baby. Making me blush. <laughs> what was your first impression of my family? Um, first impression of your family. Yep. Um, I do individually, but a short version. So the first day I met um, Michaela's mom, we were hanging out in the city. I think we were on Fifth Ave. Um, we went to like get a Starbucks or whatever. And she was meeting her mom. And they were taking an express bus back to the Bronx. I was living in the story at the time. I was like, hey, Cindy. Um, no, 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 no. How did it go? She was like, Hi, nice to meet you. I was like, hi, I'm going to be your son-in-law one day. Like, okay. And... <laughs> well, I really was like... No, no clue why that flew out of my mouth. I was so, so confused. Good. Yeah, uh, I, I guess your mom, she just makes you feel super comfortable like that. And Maria's That's like the, the mini-me of her. Mm -hmm. um, super energetic and into herself. <laughs> like, from a young age. <laughs> Um, and then your brothers, I just, they all just super chill. Your dad, um, initially, I got the big bad dad, who's this guy talking to my daughter impression. But then I really, you know, after getting it on, I realized it's all up front and he's a big teddy bear as well. And Derek, that's just, that's my, um, my bromance. Aww. That's my bae. That's my older brother. I love you. <laughs> All right. Next. Call. Who was the one to say I love you first? <laughs> All right. Well, truthfully, be real. My husband said I love you first, but I will say that he. I said it without using the words I love you, but he didn't even know that it meant I love you until later on. So my family. But she did. Okay. So. So therefore, she said. I, I didn't say it first, like with my mouth. My family and I do this thing where when we like want to say we I love you, but like you don't have to actually say it. You just hold hands with someone and you just like one, two, three, that's I love you. And then you say I love you too back. And one time we were going for a walk and I guess we were just walking with our hands and I did the one, two, three, but he had no idea. But I did look at you like, why you just squeeze my hand? And yeah. you know what her response was nothing? You make me feel funny. <laughs> yeah, she definitely said, I love you. Okay. <laughs> Fine, I said it first. It doesn't matter, I do. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it. Thumbs up. And also, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. Yes. All right. We're going to be doing this one. We'll be back every Tuesday with a new video. Every Tuesday. So, um, in the comments, drop ideas. Anything you want like us to try or talk about. Um, in the future, we're definitely going to be doing some vlogs outside. like Some fun things, fun, fun activities. We have some stuff planned that is just really part of our everyday kind of routine or life or what we would normally do, but we're going to start bringing the cameras around, 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 around with us. Yeah. I don't know why I can say that. And we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be doing uh, some other fun stuff. Pranks. No. Yeah. All I that good pranks. stuff. But, um, see you next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Smiley Ever After. Out. <laughs>